Welcome back, folks, and a yo ho to you all, me hearties! When we last left off, we'd managed to get all the way to nearly the end of that little segment of the dungeon, only for a fountain of cursed, piratey bad luck to defeat us. You mean a decay fountain? No! A cursed fountain of piratey bad luck. That is their actual name. If you actually look very closely on the designs at the bottom of the fountain, that's exactly what they say. I mean, you get them from a certain island across the, uh, across, uh, the far oceans, and th the business is pretty moderately good. It's designed against pirates, naturally. Well, uh, at least I think they are. I've never actually seen him. But, I'm sure it's true. So, we were defeated once more, but, this time, this time, we're not going to put down any fountains. That fountain is what absolutely defeated us. Absolutely defeated us. And this time, apparently, we're also not going to be going this way, either. We'll put a one-headed monkey here, though. If nothing else, so that we can actually have something to fight. Hello, one-headed monkey. How are you today? And we'd even defeated, like, the three-headed monkey as well, only to be defeated in the end by... A Fountain of Decay. Those extra two points or so of damage, in the end, didn't make a, didn't make the largest amount of difference because of the um, fact that we were dealt ridiculous amount of damage. But we could have potentially killed it sooner. Also, discarding that Swift card also pretty much cost us that loss. Also, Armor One and Swift One, we'll take it. We'll definitely take that. So we want to go up here, and just put some gold. We don't want to put down any fountains, and we definitely don't want to put down a level 3 monster. No way! Okay, we do- ooh. I suppose we're putting down a fountain, but is it a bad one or a good one? It's one that's manageable. It's a manageable fountain. <laughs> Saying that though, we've just put down a level 2 monster, so we might have to fight a level 3 monster with that fountain there. Which would not be so good. But hopefully we'll be able to manage it. Ow! Ow, that's a nasty card! I don't think I've actually ever seen that card when I fought you! Ouch! That's... that's really nasty. So you recycle two cards and do that. Well, it doesn't matter because we've won. But it's still a nasty card to know you've got. Aquatic 4. Okay. Tricome? No. We're gonna take this early. And hope we don't encounter a really nasty monster here. Ooh, that's a really nasty monster. I really don't want to fight that. I really don't want to fight that. Well, I should have put down the gem rather than that. Okay. A hermit crab? I can fight a hermit crab. Shouldn't be too bad. They do have the tough trait, they do also have a lot of health, but we also have the ability to deal a significant amount of damage. Also, we discarded a Fire Blast card, not the worst card to discard. Should, in theory, be able to do this. Mm, now I think it's a good time to get rid of that. Now I think it's a really good time to get rid of that. Mainly because we have this. Unfortunately, it discarded Bark Skin, but we didn't need it. And we'll get that card back that we lost earlier. Excellent. Ooh. We're definitely gonna have to, uh... Deal with the fact that we're running out of health, though. Right. Two damage. Ah, you cycled that card. Wonderful. And with that, we have won. That's a relief. Worst thing I wanted to have happen was to lose to another fountain. Ooh, the skull cap. However, that's also a pretty good card. We'll take that. Armor and growth? Pretty good. We need a weapon, though. We definitely need a weapon. Right now, I'm just happy fighting mermen and, uh, slowly moving across the screen. We are going to win this time. This time, we're going to win. Those are some famous last words. Oh, if we don't win. I'm blaming Dark Lord if we don't win. Definitely blaming Dark Lord. 
Yep, that's not bad. Nice amount of damage. We're gonna use this now so that we can get more cards. You have a lot of cards, actually, I've just realized. And there is that one that we don't like. Fortunately, this time it's only dealing one point of damage and we're dealing two in return. And then we are defeating you. So we need a weapon and we need a piece of, well, an offhand weapon, like a shield, a piece of armor. Well, it's, it's a piece of equipment, so we'll use it. I'd rather have a shield there. Hmm. We don't have anything to fight. Well, we don't have anything to move along and fight, so we'll just have to fight this. Waiting for the particular cards may potentially be a bit of a wait, but it will be worth it. We'll deal some damage and negate your own damage. And I think we just need to deal some damage back. Here we go. If successful, discards. At this point, I actually don't want to waste a three... Well, I don't have an option, because it is gone. But we are out damaging the hermit crab, which is the important thing. It's very much the important thing. Also, we might as well just regain some health here. There we go. And this fight is over. Excellent. Victory! Hmm. Nothing really uh, good and interesting to take, so we shall move on. Ah, there are a lot of things here. So we're going to go... Ooh, there's a fountain there. I keep saying I'm... Well, I keep saying I'm not going to put fountains places, and then I do that. So that was silly. Do I want to put a cranky parrot down? Well, I put one down there for some reason. Where did it end up going? All the way down there. That parrot's probably quite confused. That parrot is probably very, very confused. Let's fight another hermit crab, shall we? Just so that we can uh, move a little further along. Hello, hermit crab. It's this part here. It's the waiting for the cards. Because I want to ideally do this in a more efficient way of just having only the cards I need. But what seems to be happening is I'm just not getting that one card, which is a, a T-junction across and down. This is a really bad... Yep, that was not a good card to see at all. Just cycle the card I really wanted. Plus, this being unblockable, not nice. That is blockable, though, but it's more the fact that I want to use this regenerate card to get some health back. If successful... Let's do some damage here. You discarded my damage card. But I have a damage card in return, which therefore means victory. Excellent. Hmm, aha! Aha! Yes! A weapon! Marvelous. What do I want to do here? Aha! Look at that! Look at that! That's great! <laughs> Finally got the card I wanted there! Finally got the card I wanted! That is not necessarily the card that I wanted, but we can just put some gold here and some gold here. Ah. There we go. Marvelous. And then we need a very specific card. We just got that very specific card. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's put a sea monkey here. <laughs> and hopefully we can deal with this uh, buccaneering question. Well, you're not going to be blocking any of my damage, so it's a very easy piece of uh, piece of damage that I don't need to worry about. Excellent. And we're going to block all of that too. You're going to uh, recycle one of my cards, but also that unblockable card that could be very useful. But we really need a nice piece of well defensive armor to deal with the buccaneer. Let's hope that the Buccaneer does perish. Alright, what do we get? That's not really what I was looking for. Ooh. That's actually better. That's better. 
purely because it has the brace card. Hello, Buccaneer. How are you today? You're immediately dealing large quantities of damage. Well, fortunately, we can block some of that. Only some of it. If you're successful, I discard. Well, I want to get further into my deck. So, you can discard that card, and I'll draw one of these. Ooh, more damage just immediately. Fortunately, you're drawing it right now, but you have a very small deck size. Which means that we don't get to really... Well, basically, we don't get to see a lot of it. I need to deal one point of damage. Hmm. That will kill me. I need to block this. I need to block it. Aha! Yes! Taking the crossbow won me the match. Aha! Good choice. Good choice. Very good choice indeed. Also, I might take the wolf belt here. And now, we just need to wait for the right kind of cards to show up. Just to go down to there, because that is where it is. Hopefully there's not a monster there. Is there a monster there? Yes, a were-crab. That's okay, we should be able to deal with a were-crab. I hope we can deal with a were-crab. Okay. I'm not going to put another wear crab down. Purely because if we can't deal with one, we're not going to be able to deal with two. So here we go. One wear crab between me and victory. All right, wear crab. Let's see if we can take care of you. That's pretty good so far. We'll hold onto that card. Just in case we get into some serious trouble. What do we got? If successful, we heal two health. Which we will be successful. Therefore. Haha. <laughs> this card. I really just want to hold on to the swift cards, and I really want to hold on to the, uh... Hmm. Actually, Interrupt here is not a bad card. It sort of negates everything. I don't want to take any damage. If successful, I discard. You can discard that if you like. We're in a pretty strong position here. We're in a pretty strong position here. One point of damage. Let's draw two cards. I'm sure I'll find one point of damage somewhere. Aha! Victory! Finally! The Dark Lord is victorious! I don't need to blame him at all. And we finally get something that would actually provide us with some more armor, but we actually don't want it. The actual um, swift cards are really good for dealing with armor, so let's just, I don't know, take some gold. Victory! Excellent. Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory League of Explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. We have 521 gold, which means we can buy the final item in Tier 2, the Idol of the Crone. Which means plus one starting hand size in battle. We now have all of the Tier 2 items, which means that we are now saving up for the Tier 3 items. And they are very, very expensive. But the items you get out of them are really, really good. Like Blade 2 Tenacious. And Holy One Retribution. They're really good cards. There's also over here a class. There are actually five classes in the uh, Tier 3. If you click for details, you find out their ability is that they never find the common loot, which means they only find items that you can get from these. Also, their cards are very, very interesting. One damage taken, one magic damage per damage taken this turn. And also, Two magic damage, unblockable, plus one hit points. They sort of have a little bit of everything, mostly focusing on uh, magic cards. So, when we come back, folks, we have one more mission to do there, which is... It was his favourite treasure, and now he wants it back. Well, we're not going to give it back to him. Dark Lord will keep it and take it back to the Dungeon Guild. Guild of Dungeoneering. That be the word you're looking for. Thanks. No problem. 
Nice to see that eventually you were able to find the buried treasure. Was it at the bottom of the sea? No, it was in a cave. A cave. Was the cave at the bottom of the sea? No. And it wasn't in a sky fortress. Could have been in a sky fortress under the sea. That doesn't even begin to make any sense. It totally does. You can totally do it. I, I had a, a pirate friend that had one. Totally. It was very sky fortressy and everything. You're not making this up, are you? No. Definitely not. I'll catch you then, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.